Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be replacing a broken stud. Now the first thing you have to do with this is make sure you get the right size because they do come in different sizes, different lengths. So replacement stud for my model which is the 1990 is 35mm and you can see it just needs to go through the back of here. Now it'd be easy if you could just knock this out and put another one in, but um, the space behind here is just um, not enough. So what I need to do is take the flange off. Basically one, two, three, four bolts, split pin and um, the hub nut here, come off and then once it's off we can get this out and get the new one in. These are half inch bolts and um, I find it easier doing this before I do this centre nut here. because I've replaced these before, how good they come out when they've got copper grease on them. Split pin I'm hoping to reuse because it's fairly new. But had it been old I would just use a new one. So there we go, gives us perfect access to get this off now and get this out. There we go. So not too bad. You can see it's not actually that old a bolt. I think I replaced these possibly two years ago so yeah I don't know why it has snapped. Possibly a weakness in the bolt. Right, flip this over and um, give this a bit of a clean. Right, when you've got this tapped in so far, uh, you can't get in with the hammer to get the rest, so I find it's easier just putting either a spacer here and a nut and it just pulls it up here. I can't find any just now, so I'll just basically use what I've got. And there we go, just by um, tapping it through and then pulling it with a spacer or bolts to pull it tight and have it fitted and ready to go back on the car. Right, this goes on the same way it came off, making sure the splines meet up and it lines up with the holes here. Torque settings for these are 57 Newton meters.
just need to get the main bolt back on now. Um, different kinds of pin on the different age of mini. This is the one with the one split pin, so it's uh, newton meters 255 to 270, depending on where the hole lines up. So I'm going to go off camera, get that on, get the wheel back on, and that'll be job done. So hopefully someone's found this useful. It's really straightforward, easy job, and this cost two pound. So yeah, don't waste time taking it to a garage. So thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.